goes on And so do we Just how we do it is no mystery Sometimes the answer can be hard to find That's something I will never be I'm always here for anything that you need Rain or shine I'll be the one to share it all as life goes on We share it all as life goes on Peter, I'm telling you, no, I mean, believe me, the great thing about having your tonsils out is that never again will anybody ever walk up to you and say, there, there's that kid with the tonsils. <laughs> wow, do you know who that is? That's the guy who plays right field for the Mustangs. That's Nick, my husband. Cool, does he ever visit sick kids in the hospital like Babe Ruth? For you, he'll be there with cleats on. Oh, that's so neat. Hey, Mom, did you hear that? There goes that kid with the tonsils. <laughs> You'll never hear that again. <laughs> Room one, Jill Hanover. Regular checkup with the welcome to womanhood talk. Here's the cutaway pelvic diagram and the complimentary welcome to womanhood starter kit. <laughs> so, sweetheart, they tell me you've become a woman since last we met. <laughs> Mickey, Nick, Nick, no, Mick, suffering, Nick. You wait, I'll be right back. I'll be... I just told the ten-year-old boy that he has just become a woman. Then he'll probably be wanting a second opinion. No, dear, you gave me the wrong chart. You never do that. Well, excuse me if things at home have got my mind wandering a little. Oh, what is it? What's wrong? It's personal. Well, now, seeing as how you just left a nine-year-old boy alone in a room with hygiene products, I suggest you get back in there before he gets bored and curious. How are you, hey, Bill? Well, you know, Mick, the good news is it turns out you're not a woman after all. Doctor will be in in a minute. Meantime, don't pick at it. So, now, I'm going to call the school nurse and tell her that your time test was negative, right? Right. Okay, I'm going to see you in a month, right, guy? Hey, 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 yeah. It's my guy. Room two, Stevie Foster. There you go. Here, come, come. Oh, Laverne, that lunch appointment I asked you to make with Dr. Moss, call him, please. Tell him I'll be a little bit late. What lunch? Stevie, I'm right with you. Don't pick at it. <laughs> Laverne, dear, you never make mistakes. Now, what's bothering you? I told you, it's personal. I'm a doctor. Trust me, I'm here for you. You can talk to me about anything. All right. Nick is in a batting slump. <laughs> well, maybe you should choke up a little bit and... What am I talking about? I don't know anything about that. Right. Room two, doctor. <laughs> About time. Charlie, what are you doing here? I don't feel good. What happened to little Stevie Foster? You mean the kid that was in here? I made it worth his while to give up the room. Besides, he was driving me crazy with his pick, pick, pick. All right, okay, okay, okay. What's wrong? Well, I've got chills and dizziness and... Nausea? <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the potted plant in the waiting room. <laughs> All right, Charlie, you just got the flu that's going around. It's going to lay you up for a couple of days. You go home, get a lot of rest, and drink plenty of fluids. I'd rather stay here. Charlie, come on, please, go. I got things to do here. Come, let's go. Oh, okay, All if right. I have to. All right, get plenty of rest and a lot of fluids, right? Charlie? Yeah? Leave the raccoon, please. <laughs> I brought this with me. <laughs> Shoot. Where's my Dreyfus, my big boy? Ah, there you are. 
I'm sorry I wasn't home, but I had an old nighter at the hospital. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Charlie. Not hi, Charlie. Why? Why, Charlie? Why are you here? I'm burning up. Charlie called and said you wanted me to come over and watch him because he was sick. I never said that. You told me to drink plenty of fluids. Well, I'm fresh out of fluids at my place, so I said to myself, who'd have fluids? A doctor. I knew you'd want me here where the fluids are. Charlie, please go home. Daddy, he really is sick. He's got 102 fever and he can't keep anything down. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the potted plant in the study. <laughs> Harry, are you home for good now? Charlie, I cannot take care of you. I have to go to work. Daddy, I don't have to be at the station until 3. I can stay with Charlie till you get home. I just have to take a hot shower and I'm ready. <laughs> what an angel of mercy. I wonder what a little hot steam from that shower would do for this congestion now. It would kill you instantly. Good morning, Vern. Well, Nick did great last night, huh? Two for three. How's that for coming out of a slump? Thank you. He'll be tickled you care. <laughs> Dr. Weston's office. Yeah. 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 Can't you tell this is personal? <laughs> Okay. Bye-bye. Good morning, Meredith. Mrs. Wenzel, room two. Room two, Meredith Wenzel. Gummy bear lodged in her left ear. <laughs> her mother suspects it had something to do with a Disney Channel special on hibernation and the approach of winter. <laughs> and I know this isn't much notice, but this'll be my last patient. <laughs> what? That phone call was my husband. He's been traded to a team in Tucson. What, that call? You mean the yeah, 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 yeah call? I knew you were listening. I heard yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick's got to report to Arizona after tonight's game, so I have to quit. Well, you have to what? Quit. A baseball bride's place is in whatever city's writ across her husband's chest. <laughs> he got to call from Mr. Nowak, and he's got to go. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, who's Mr. Nowak? The team owner, he's the one what made the trade. Look, I'd love to stay and chat the sundown, but I gotta get home and pack. Wait a minute, you just can't walk out. I, what, what, what am I gonna do for a nurse? What am I gonna do without you? Well, you should be fine. Just dial extension 665 and tell them you need a temp nurse down here pronto. And tell her when Davy Nesmith gets his shots, he likes for the nurse to sing the wonderful thing about Tiggers. That's important. <laughs> Wait a minute, Laverne, what, after five years, you're just down the hallway and gone? I don't know how else to do it. You treat that new nurse of yours good, you hear? <laughs> Charlie, wake up. I don't want to. Charlie, come on, wake up. Ooh. I have a chill. Smother me with leather. Charlie, the reason why I'm dressed like this is because I'm on duty. I'm going undercover. I am sick. The potted plant's in the study. Carol, the reason why I called you is because Charlie is sick. I've been watching him for Daddy, but now it's your turn. Oh, that's what this is all about. No way am I being doctor to him. Unless there's some unplugging of life support involved. <laughs> Carol, I know Charlie is scum. Hey. <laughs> Careful. He might hear you. Daddy will be home soon, and it's easy. You just give him plenty of fluids, fluff his pillows, and if he gets a cramp, give him a quick massage. That's so easy. <laughs> Forget it, Charlie. Carol, please? Come on. Charlie's on his best behavior. Yo! Cramp! It's my buttocks. He has to do his own buttocks. Hi, Hi Daddy. Hi, Carol, baby. Hello, <laughs> well, Barbara. If you have a tattoo, it better say Dad. I'm infiltrating a biker gang. Carol, Barbara, my buttocks. What about 
hurt your buttocks, Charlie. Never mind. Did his fever break? No, and he still feels awful. Well, I guess it's been a lousy day for everybody. What's the matter, Daddy? Laverne quit today. You're kidding. Oh, no. Her husband got traded to some team in Arizona, so she's leaving. That's it. Gone. Well, no wonder you're so upset. What really kills me is that it didn't phase her at all. Out the door, not even a goodbye. I guess you're wondering about the buttocks thing. <laughs> not really. Well, I have a God-fearing town to terrorize. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. Yes. Oh, listen, babe, I gotta get to the hospital. I gotta get back. Now, listen, Carol, baby, do me a favor, dear. Just for a couple of hours, keep an eye on Charlie. Honey. Oh, okay. Thank you, dear. I love you. You better. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> Time to take my temperature. <laughs> Wipe your feet and come in. Hi, uh, hi, Laverne. I, uh, I was just, you know, over at the hospital checking on little Peter, and your husband dropped by, which is real sweet. He even promised to hit a home run for him tonight. Oh, yeah, Nick loves that stuff. So how'd your temp nurse work out? Well, okay, I guess. I mean, uh, she knew all the words to the Tigger song and everything, so... <laughs> well, Laverne, the reason I came over is that I don't know, things felt funnier the way we left them this morning. I mean, are you okay with all of this? Yeah, I guess so. You know, my first time ever to move was when Nick was drafted and sent here to Miami. At the time, we figured it'd be just any day before we'd be moving again to Baltimore, St. Louis, or some other major league city. But a year passed, still here. Another year, still here. Another year, still here. Another year. I think I know where you're going with this. <laughs> You know, for some reason, I'm not so ready to move as when we first got here. Yeah, well, it never gets any easier saying goodbye, at least not for me anyway. I don't know. It seems like I always end up saying goodbye to all the women in my life. So when you leave, you won't be the first. Just the latest. I'm one of the women in your life. Of course you are. You knew that. You didn't know that. Oh, Laverne, I'm sorry. Listen, when you told me you were leaving today... Now, I'm if you're about to start in with carrying on sloppy, I'll bounce you out of here on one hop. <laughs> Last thing I need is for you to set me off to becoming a mushy mess again like at the office this morning. <laughs> really, that was a mushy mess I saw today, huh? Hell, I didn't think I was going to make it out to my car on these wobbly legs I had it so bad. <laughs> I just really hate goodbyes, is all. Well, okay, uh, it's getting late. You have a lot of packing really, to do. Really, really hate goodbyes. <laughs> right. You're really tying my hands here. Laverne, goodbye. <laughs> I really hated that. <laughs> what do you want now? A pillow fluff. <laughs> I fluffed you two minutes ago. I'm bored. I need some entertainment. Do me puppet show. Charlie, get out of this house. But Carol... I'm serious. I've had it. Get out. But I could die out there. Great. I'll hold the door. <laughs> Charlie, I don't care what you do. Find someone else to take care of you. Just get out. Out. Fine. Fine. Who needs you? I'll call my family. I'll call my friends. I'll call the people who really care about me. I don't have anybody else to call. Oh, come on, Charlie. You must have other friends. Not really. You're my friends. You're my family. 
Carol, if you kick me out, I'll be all alone. Don't make me go. Please. Okay. You know, Charlie, if you would be more human like this when you're well, then other people might like you more. Maybe even I might like you more. Please, just sit. Talk to me. <laughs> Carol, have you ever heard the expression, feed a fever, boff the flu? <laughs> Mr. Nowak, uh, Dr. Weston, I really do appreciate you seeing me at this late hour. Ordinarily, I see no one doing a night game, but I was intrigued by your persistence, especially after the 18th phone call. <laughs> so why are you here? Uh, well, sir, it's about your team, the Mustangs. Oh, business. Business hours are nine to five. No, oh, see, no, this really can't wait. This is urgent. Urgent business hours are nine to five. <laughs> Mr. Miller, right, please, They're just five minutes. Five very, very fast minutes. Okay, please, just four. Very fast minutes. All right, all right. Now, uh, you see, I have this terrific nurse, and she's a very special lady, and I do not want to lose her. Uh, the point is, she's married to your right field and Nick Todd. Oh, I see. And you want me to call off the trade. Well, Dr. Weston, let me tell you a little something about Nick Todd. He's batting only 193. He leads the team in errors. He has an annoying tendency to strike out in pressure situations. <laughs> Well, you are aware he's in a slump. <laughs> Doctor, baseball is a business. Are you aware of the details of the Tucson trade? <sighs> they send us 750 scoreboard light bulbs and a catcher who's developed an ugly, unrequited crush on their bat boy. <laughs> Now, we send them 50,000 paper beer cups and Nick, who they need to fill in until their right fielder makes bail. <laughs> now, I'm sorry about your nurse, but I'm a businessman. The Mustangs are business. Good night, Dr. Weston. May I ask you a favor? Favors are tomorrow, 9 to 5. Well, I must. I have two minutes left. OK, you see, I have this patient in the hospital. Uh, 10 years old, great kid, bad tonsils, big fan. I'm sure he's watching. You see, he doesn't know it's a business. He thinks it's a game. Anyway, Nick dropped by the hospital, promised him he did a home run for him tonight. Now, don't you think he should at least get the chance to keep that promise? Mr. Noack, you're the owner. You can put him in. Uh, Dr. Weston, if I thought he could hit a home run on demand, I wouldn't be trading him. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. No, you, that put him in. He hits a home run. You don't trade him. I like this. I like that idea. Dr. Weston, I'm a businessman, but I do dearly love a friendly wager. Now, you think he can come through? What can you offer me? Well, OK. I mean, I am a doctor. That's uh, something. Uh, okay, uh, if he hits it out, no trade. If he doesn't hit it out, free medical checkups for all your grandkids. Against 750 scoreboard light bulbs at five bucks per? Bad business. <laughs> Bottom of the ninth there, Doctor. Okay, 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 all right, okay. Uh, 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 free medical care for all the kids of all your players for six months. Uh, all right, a, a year, a year. Free medical care. That's business. Yeah, this is Noack. Put Todd in. Shall we? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, with two outs, looks like a change. It's number three, Nick Todd, stepping in to hit for Boyce. Easy. What's he doing? He's pointing at the center field fence. I like that's it. He's pointing, pointing. I like that. That's a very good sign. No idea what he sees out there. Oh well. Here's the wind up and pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one, Doctor. Well, come on, that wasn't his best swing. It was just one handed. He was still pointing. Don't point! <laughs> yeah, he's get ready. He's ready now. All right now. At the belt. Big 
swing. Strike two. I tell you what, Doc, it was a sucker bed anyway, and I'm starting to feel guilty. What say we just call it off? All right, would be a little scared here. You saw that swing? Two hands, little contact, home run? No, fine. Let's go. Here's the wind-up, delivery, strike three, swing. It's all over. Dr. Weston, welcome to the Miami Mustangs health plan. <laughs> Mrs. Vickers, now remember now, try to cut down on Bobby's refined sugar. <laughs> I had a coffee. I had a cup of coffee. Michelle, where is my coffee? I think you left it in the examining room. Oh, don't forget, after lunch, you have six Mustang health plan kids. <laughs> Thank you. Why? <sighs> Room. Laverne? Nick straight is off. I'm back. You're back! You're back! Michelle, she's back! Laverne's back! Oh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> You're back. You're back! <laughs> Nick heard through the players great buying you put in a visit to old man Nowak last night. That was quite a bet you lost. Ah, just... That was nice you did that for us. Also a real stupid waste. Why? What? You just said you were back. I got all excited. I danced. I gave a shot at a hug. But I am back. Last night, Nick up and pulled a muscle on his third swing. Won't be able to play for two weeks. So the Tucson people got a right fielder and a snow cone machine out of Waco instead. Oh, I see. No trade. Pulled a muscle. <laughs> well, I mean, it was not exactly as I had planned, but it was pretty close. <laughs> Well, there's only one thing I hate worse than goodbyes, but here goes. That was sweet what you did for us. Wait a minute. This is not wobbly-legged, mushy mess I'm seeing, is it? Maybe. <laughs> well, I better go get changed. Awful sweet. All right, back it up, darling. You're in my chair. 